here on KRQE. Pretty and cool there. Storm still causing trouble. Yeah, we got snow going on right now. Let's dive right into it head first. Seeing those snow showers mainly in the northern mountains, but some crossing I-40 just east of Grants and uh, just outside the metro. We have a slight chance for snow. We're not looking for big accumulations here in Albuquerque, but uh, as we take a step back, really here's the core of our storm making its way. Now the snow is going to come tonight. It's really going to start to die down tomorrow and then into tomorrow afternoon. But the cold air and the extreme wind, those are going to stick around most of the day tomorrow, and that's probably going to be the biggest impact with this storm. We had very nice temperatures today, but that all changes as you start your work week. So the snow will mainly be in the northern mountains. We're looking for decent accumulation in the southern San Juans, the Jemez, and then also the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. As far as snow totals, we're not talking a huge snowstorm here. You got to get pretty high up to get good amounts of snow. Six to ten inches for areas above 9,500 feet. Three to six possible in places like Chama, and then trace amounts to maybe three inches if we're lucky in the areas you see shaded in blue. That could include uh, Los Alamos, but probably a lot less than that. The Sandias maybe picking up uh, some in the East Mountains as well. Not a big snowmaker, but it really will be the wind tomorrow as we get going. 50 to 70 mile per hour gusts possible in the areas you see shaded in yellow. And when we have temperatures to start the morning, some of us in the teens, it is going to be bitter cold out there. So we're going to have kind of a twofold scenario for us blustery conditions in the northwest of the northern mountains. And since it's so dry in the southeast, we're going to have fire danger. So, really, uh, kind of a weird combination a winter setup and then a really spring fire time setup in the east. So, we got to keep that in mind in southeast New Mexico because it's going to be very, very windy there as well. Let's get going with our wind predictor. We pick it up at 10 p.m., get the clock rolling. Watch what happens at 8 a.m. Not usually a typically windy time. You can see 30 to 50 mile per hour winds along the central mountain chain and to the east. We'll see them spread a little bit to the south and the east. This is 1 p.m. And with those uh, temperatures right in the middle of the day, we could see that high fire danger. We'll have to keep that in mind. The good news, good news is we start to relax as we get going into late afternoon Monday and then into Tuesday. So not a terrible setup. You can already see that cold air starting to advance into the state. As far as Albuquerque goes right now, 40 degrees out there. Winds aren't too bad. West southwest at six. Let's do the numbers. Snow for southern Colorado and Durango tonight could pick up a few inches, a little bit on the ground already. A cold Monday, but we will rebound nicely for the rest of the week with sunshine and temperatures in the mid 40s. It's going to be the same story in the northwest. We have snow going on right now. Isolated snow possible, clearing up by the afternoon hours, but we're going to struggle to get out of the 30s from many locations, as you can see here. But don't worry, the rebound is fast in Farmington from 40 on Monday to a 51 on Wednesday. Southwest New Mexico, really too far away to get any of the moisture. Slight chance for rain tomorrow in Silver City. Doesn't look great at all. We'll be breezy out there. This is probably the best spot in the state because you're not going to get extreme wind and you're not going to get extreme cold. Southeast New Mexico, though, whole other story. Temperature's not bad, though, but the wind will be relentless. Blowing dust, that could reduce visibility, not the snow, the dust, and a high fire danger for tomorrow. Red flag warnings for a good portion of this area. Northeast New Mexico, isolated snow tonight. Some trying to hang on for Monday, but forget the snow. It's going to be the cold. The high is only going to be 36 in Las Vegas. And when you have a 50 mile per hour gust with that, that's going to drop that windshield down quite a bit. So it's going to be nasty. Bundle up as you head out tomorrow morning. There is relief in sight, though. We'll get to 47 by Tuesday. In the northern mountains, when you wake up in Red River, it's going to be in the single digits to teens, and the winds are going to be howling. It will be very, very cold. Same story in Santa Fe. We'll be in the teens, low 20s as we get going tomorrow morning. And we're going to struggle to get out of the 30s here as well with winds that will be relentless. So it's going to be a little iffy out there and very uh, blustery in the northern mountains for tomorrow. Similar story in the East Mountains where temperatures are going to be quite cold with pretty intense wind. A slight chance for some snow in the morning, but really the cold and the wind will be the thing you notice the most. 42 in Rio Rancho, 46 in Berlin, only 44 downtown in Albuquerque with windy conditions. The wind won't be as bad, but it will add a bite to that chill. We're only expecting a high of 44. We're going to see temperatures, though, get going to the mid 50s by the end of the week with plenty of sunshine. Okay, thank you, Ian. We want to take you live now to Northeast Albuquerque where we have.